What if there was a 360 VR camera you could play catch with? This is the Omni, GoPro's rig built to tackle 360 VR head-on. Now even though you probably wouldn't throw around a camera like this, the Omni is modular and designed for rough treatment. In theory, if a piece breaks, you can just swap it out. But before we get into the specs, let's take a look and see what the complete $5,000 out-of-the-box solution gets you. The Omni houses six Hero 4 Black cameras, which means six separate micro SD cards and batteries. Unfortunately, the Omni isn't compatible with the newer Hero 5. If $5,000 US dollars is a little bit too much cash, the rig sells for $1,500 on its own if you bring your own cameras. Unlike the earlier Freedom 360 mount, where you had to start and stop recording on all six cameras individually, the Omni has one central camera. You start and stop recording from it, plus it automatically sends the settings you have on the primary camera to all of the others in the rig. If you run the Omni on its in-camera batteries, you get about 45 minutes of run time, so for intensive shoots, you're going to need to use these external battery packs. You'll get around three hours if you're using lower resolution settings. So that's the spec sheet. What is it actually like to shoot with? The one button operation of the Omni is incredibly easy. There's no sync clap you need to worry about and it feels just like you're filming with a single GoPro except it just happens to be in a 360 array. Editing is usually the tedious part of making 360 but the Omni makes it easy. With one click, the importer software finds your footage on the micro SD cards or on your computer. From here you can see a low resolution preview stitch, colour correction and stabilisation options. Press start and the crunching begins. And it's quick. A two minute 4K clip or around four gigabytes of footage takes 15 minutes or so to import, stitch and color correct. It is likely that you'll still need to make tweaks in something like colors or to pan a video, especially if you come across ghosting issues, which we did. But the Omni does cope well in low light and with motion shots, although parallax can still be an issue. Overall though, the Omni is really well thought out. It's not waterproof, so thrill seekers will have to wait and see if GoPro releases a Hero 5 version. For now, as an inexpensive entry point into professional 360 VR, it ticks plenty of boxes.